Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here today. We're going to find out what big blessing or manifestation you have coming in that will make you incredibly happy. If you would like to check out for $3, the extended to your reading, that is in the description um, right under your timestamp. So thanks for being here, guys. Go check out my Patreon for free readings every single week. Uh, I love you guys and I thank you so much for supporting me. Let's get started with pile one. Hey guys, those who chose by one, welcome to your reading. Let's find out what manifestations come in next for you, okay? Um, what are you guys trying to manifest? I'm kind of eager to find out. So inquiring minds want to know. Let's see. What big manifestation is coming in for pile one, please spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's something you've prayed for because I just heard amen after I said thank you. It's something you prayed for. I think you even did magic for it. Okay, we have door to personal healing and happiness. Let's see. Ooh, this death card though. There must be a lot of Scorpios in the air. You guys are about to meet a soulmate that is in your soul family, your soul tribe, soul family here. Divine intervention, what did I say? You prayed for this, you prayed. These people are really um, psychic. I'm getting with the moon. Like they're actually really receptive to you and what you have to say as well. Um, I'm hearing these people really love what you talk about. You guys might start a podcast or something. I don't know. I'm feeling like you guys are into, what is this? With the moon, I'm getting so many downloads. I almost feel as well, a psychic gift is coming in for you. And that's the ability to know things before it happens. Kind of like prophetic dreams and stuff or prophecy. But I'm also getting this energy of like, you're going to be able to predict things for your soul family. This is why they're coming in. They need your healing. You're really incredibly gifted at healing. And this family, group family, group soul family that you have, they need you in a way. Because um, you guys have a mission to do together. It's kind of important. It's a big deal. I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully I'll be able to tune into that. Sacral chakra, yeah. I feel like you guys are meant to do something collectively to help the world. Three of swords. Moving on. With the release, the three of swords and the moving on, I think you guys are gonna be pleasantly surprised to find that you move on from a loss way faster than you thought you were going to. Um, it could even be a breakup or God forbid something, something really, really horrible, um, which I think is technically the case for pile one. Especially if you've lost a child and I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. That is going to, you're gonna have a healing take place with these people coming in. I am really getting Scorpio energy here. King of Cups, rest and rejuvenate purification and detox. So there's something about your womb. Um, I'm hearing womb healing. She's even holding this heart here in her um, sacral. If you guys haven't been able to have children or like you really do want kids, but like you just didn't know if it, were, it was time or you're, you're about to find out that you are going to be able to conceive children. Tarantula. This is building something. Yeah, the tarantula. Oh my God. The lovers, justice and death cycles. You guys are just coming into like, there's more sensuality. There's more sexuality happening here. You're going to be able to feel things deeper. Like you're going to feel, you're going to smell, you're going to taste. You're going to, you're just going to enjoy life. Like it's, oh my God, it's so delicious. Whatever is happening to you, it's rich. It's like, there's, there's this energy of like, I can feel again. Like you might even, okay, what I just got, the sacral chakra and the lovers here, Gemini, Libra. You guys might be feeling this soulmate already. I'm feeling energetic. Um, you know what I'm saying. I'm feeling that. This person is sending you some healing energy and it's through your sacral chakra. And a lot of you might be feeling that. And you're probably like, what the mother freak? Like what is actually happening to me? Which is funny because you have purification and detox with cycles. So, and, and the moon. So your moon cycle, I'm really getting, if you are a woman watching, you are about to detox and purify your sacral chakra so that you can have children. Wow. It's so heavy. That's so, that's coming in so heavily. So I feel like you guys are leaving behind in an old chapter of your life where things are kind of stuck and stagnant. And, um, I'm hearing too, if your cycles are really heavy, guys, I'm so sorry, but this is how spirit comes through. Sometimes they just do it. Um, something about, it's going to get a lot healthier. Like there's something healthier about your cycles. Okay. I'm just going to say that. Um, I feel like you guys are waiting for justice and karma for someone that has hurt you. Um, but you're not like one, you're not the type to sit there and, and wait on it. 
you just want to know what's happening. I feel like there's also going to be a level of divine karmic justice that happens for someone that's hurt you in the past. It could be a Gemini or a Scorpio. And it's um, going to, they're going to, spirit is going to show you that they're getting karma. There's something about a level of like, you're going to see it, even though you don't, it's like, you're not actively wanting to see the karma, but you're going to have front row seats. You're going to have, something is going to happen to show you this. Spirit, tell me why rest and rejuvenation is here. You're going to rest. There's going to be an easier time, like an easier time to get things handled. A lot of confusion and chaos, I think, from an old relationship that was kind of messing with your mind. You're going to get a lot more clarity about that. And it's going to feel like you have mental rest. Yeah, see? Five of Wands. Um, a lot of conflict. This person brought a lot of conflict into your life. Um, and you guys need a, a safe haven. You're bringing in this safe haven. Can I get a time on this? It's general, but I want to I wanna at least maybe get a couple. You have the world. For most of you, it's already happening. Yeah, the magician. You've, I told you. You guys are manifesting it and praying about it. It's already happening now. I mean, I really just heard, again, a confirmation that somebody watching Pile 1 just had a sacral chakra awakening from their soulmate. Somebody just came in and fucking opened your sacral chakra, like, through kundalini awakening, either through intimacy in the physical or energetically. They just opened that shit wide open, and now you are about to... Ooh, what is that? Ace of Wands? You're about to what? You're about to what? <laughs> like, inquiring minds want to know. Temperance, I just said it. You're healing. You're healing toxicity, really stagnant energy. Like, there is healing about to take place. And we have the page of wands. So some of you might want children, for real. And um, you, you're you probably going to manifest your soul family. It, I just heard spirit say, your soul family might even be your children. Wow. Wow. There are souls on the other side, like, waiting for you to conceive. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I feel like you guys experienced so much heartache and loss in your life. Like you have just needed um, someone to confirm for you that you one, can have children and two, will have children and three, that you've met the right partner to have children with. And I feel like that is very much coming in for you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming in or a Gemini. I, I hear the divine is stepping in to bring in a soulmate for you. The divine is stepping in. Because you've experienced way too much pain. I'm hearing like God is intervening now. Like you have experienced so much pain that you have a romantic interest coming in and it's a soulmate. Again, again I'm getting a lot of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the fool and chariot. So they are coming in like now. I feel with the world, it is now. You're already feeling it now. Do you see these animals around her? You already feel their energy. Multiple people, multiple people, but one soulmate. And this soulmate is like straight up sending you energetic healing through the ether. Um, actually, I do kind of want a little bit more about that because I feel like somebody here, you doubt what just happened or something. Like you doubt if you had a sex dream with them or something like that. You're doubting that it was real. Queen of Pentacles. It's to be a mom. I feel like I need to tell you. It, it, this is to heal your, your sacral chakra. Your root and your sacral. And you cannot make it up with the temperance there again. I think this is happening within three months. I think between now and three months, you will be with your counterpart, okay? This looks like it's a love uh, for pile one, but it's not only love, it's also sacral chakra healing, so you're gonna feel things differently. Um, you're gonna be business partnering up with somebody with a tarantula, working hard to achieve something with this soul tribe, and um, not only your soulmate, but I feel like you're gonna have children as well. Um, so if you're you know, not wanting them right now, I probably one, I would be very cautious. I would be very cautious because it looks like you're fertile myrtle right now. Okay, anyway, I love you guys so much. I'm gonna do an extended. So we're gonna get into who this might be, what they wanna say to you, gonna get some channel messages. Also, we'll find out more about this business collaboration because you're meant to do something. And if any of the kids that you might have wanna come through, you know, I'll channel something from them as well. But yeah, I really wanna go into this. This is gonna be exciting. Thank you guys for three bucks. Go check out the extended. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Hello everyone, those who chose pile two, this washi tape here, we're gonna find out what big manifestation and blessing is coming in for you, okay? <sighs> Spirit, to me in pile two, please. I'm seeing a test, uh, like a college test, or there's something about, oh, there's something about paperwork. I'm either getting bookkeeping, um, categorizing, organizing, 
testing. There's something about like that going in your favor. We have walking away the owl into holy shit. You got the owl and the wow and the high priestess. You have eight of cups twice too. You, there's just like synchronicityville here. What is happening? We have walking away twice, the owl twice basically. Wait, what? So far, there's like you're seeing double. Maybe it's an eyesight exam or something. You're going to get your eyes checked or something that's going to go really well in your favor. Listen, there's something here about like it's the twos. It's the twos. You might even be seeing two, two, two a lot or eight, eight, eight a lot. Angel of strength. You're finding it easier to say no to people, hold back your energy, reserve your energy, keep it really like to yourself. It's gonna be really easy to do so. It's not even, you're not gonna feel guilt anymore in doing that. We have lust here. Okay, okay, okay. We have the King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. A new romantic cycle begins. You love to see it. Fragment. I hear somebody's gonna be getting a call about a job very soon. This King of Swords is a boss. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Definitely getting Libra here. You're gonna get a yes on that. That is, or Leo, that is a yes. They are going to be offering you a job. Within two weeks, I'm seeing the number 15. Within two weeks, you will get a yes on a job. Yeah, the waiting game, another two, no shit. I'm telling you right now, you guys are gonna get the job. Um, but it's the waiting game. You're gonna have two week wait. Two week wait is what I'm hearing. Something about two weeks notice as well. You might be putting in two weeks notice to get a new job, something like that. It's gonna go fine. It's gonna go smoothly. But I am seeing two, two, two here. It's crazy. So two weeks, you will have a new job. We have ancestors here, right on top of the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. I feel like you guys are letting go of a mother figure in your life successfully. Um, or a friend. It's your need to mother people. Like, you kind of just overcame a karmic cycle and it was kind of like feeling like you were a doormat i feel like you felt like you were a doormat for a while i'm feeling like you're letting go of this mom figure and it's going to be a lot easier for you to do so the walking away is going to be easier you're going to be intuitively led to something that's going to make you money to get out so if this is a family member and you live with your family you're going to be able to hold back a lot. And, and um, I'm also hearing too, like if you pay rent somewhere, they might charge less for rent or something. I don't know. That just came through. It was really random, but um, you might actually find that they charge less for rent. You might find a place soon that charges less for rent. Also with the lust and the intuition, the high priestess here, you're going to actually see that somebody has lustful uh, energy towards you. I'm not sure if this is good or bad. I don't know if, how you feel about that. Give me some of that. <laughs> Give me some of that. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't know how you feel about that because you're like, you're single as a Pringle, I feel, for most of you. Um, there it is. Manifestation of um, a, a new job, some stability coming in. Now, I'm getting... Give me some of that. Like, you are actually, I think, playing the field right now. That's why I'm seeing two. Two, two, two? You guys might actually have, like, options in love right now. You're kind of feeling good about somebody, something happening to you. Um, this could be dreams here with the intuition card. This is some sort of psychic connection that's happening to you. How do they feel about it? Nine of cups. I'm like, give me some of that. Give me some of that. We have the magician here. You're manifesting somebody to come in with this like, you know, really fun um, energy. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. That's for sure. Um, let's see. I want to find out what the Six of Wands is over here. Temperance. You've surrendered. You've surrendered something to the divine. Um, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Sagittarius. You've surrendered either a connection or like the idea of work, the idea of a job, of stability, the idea of like, okay, maybe the divine wants me to do this instead of this. And that is about to pay off for you. Because right on top of surrender to the divine, you have the temperance card, which is the divine here. So I feel like you guys are looking for forward progress, getting recognition for your gifts, for your talents. That's going to happen. How is that coming in? Four of Swords. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you surrender. 
you finally say like, fine, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I, look at this, the star on the six of wands. Guys, you might wanna be famous or something. That might be coming in. A lot of you might wanna be recognized for doing something, oh, six of wands again, in the, in the, in the spotlight. I, I kind of feel you've, <laughs> it's like you were tempted to do something to get more acclaim or more, yeah, I'm hearing loud, I'm hearing something loud in my head, like uh, applause, clapping, like I'm hearing loud things, like you, you resisted the, um, the temptation to be loud, to get loud, to get rowdy, when everyone else was, is what I'm hearing. Wow, I'm burping a lot. So that is a sign that there's energy being released in that. This is, this is a good thing. What you didn't do was sell out. And you're about to be rewarded for that. Look at that. Eight of Wands. I just said loud. This is the card of communication. This is loud, loud movement for me. It, this is like you needing to be seen, needing to be heard. You're, you're surrendering that. Wow. Yeah. You don't need to be seen or heard. And ironically enough, that's going to get you seen and heard. There's some sort of karmic pattern being worked around here. You're, you're releasing a karmic cycle. Two of Cups. In love, in partnerships. In how you speak as well. There's the Eight of Wands. Again, could be a Leo. Somebody in your family that... Um, they never had healthy love connections. Yeah, it's someone in your family. Ten of Cups, Five of Wands. I feel like what this is, is you were not allowed to explore your options before like settling down with someone and marrying someone in your family. I feel like what happened was you were never allowed to have competition, like, um, um, not competition. Yeah, multiple options. Like there, you and your family, I don't know if this is like arranged marriage or something like that, but it feels very much like this is who we marry, that's the type of person we marry, and that's it. But you're actually going against the status quo, and I think that's also why you're going to be seen and heard very soon, because you're doing things differently, Pile 2. And you're going to be really happy in doing so. I don't actually see like a full-blown commitment just yet on the cards, but I do see you enjoying singlehood. Because it's like your family was never allowed to do that especially the women in your family. I just saw the Queen of Pentacles again. Page of Pentacles, yeah. Page. You're still learning something. Somebody's gonna teach you something. So we have the King of Swords twice. Another thing that you are going to find is that you're, you're the student of something. You're about to be the student of something. You could already be in college, but I'm feeling like this King of Swords is teaching you something. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be a partner, a love partner as well, or someone that is kind of detached in love. They're kind of detached, but it's going to teach you something. I think you're still going to like it. There's something about you're going to like what's happening to you because you don't have to commit. Yeah. It's like you're a student of life right now. You don't have to commit. It's the Ace of Pentacles. You get to build from the ground up with this person or with this job, whatever. You don't have to commit. It's not like a full-time, long-term commitment. And that's going to make you incredibly happy, I feel. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. So you go from the Ace to the Ten of Pentacles. After this, King of Swords teaches you something. So there's somebody coming in to teach you. It could be business finance. It could be how to start your own business. It could be a whole bunch of things. It really could. Um, but you're going from the Ace to the Ten because you don't, want commitment. It's like this person doesn't want commitment either. This is mainly, yeah, seven of wands. Um, this is work. Wow. King of pentacles. So you guys, there is something said about your energy right now. You're bringing in a lot more stability in finances because you're holding back on giving energy to just everyone. I think that's why you like this king of swords so much is because they don't give to everyone. The king of swords only gives to those who, you know, are intellectual, smart. That he's, he's quite the businessman. He's very analytical, logical. But the king of pentacles, that man knows how to hold shit to himself. Okay, he does not give it away just like willy-nilly. So there's something about your energy. You're going from the ace to the ten, which I love to see. But it's because you hold back. The four of pentacles and the seven of wands. You're holding back your energy and not giving it to everybody right now. And that is actually going to benefit you in the long run. So again, I don't see a long-term commitment right now for pile two. But I do see you having fun with flings. And I also see you learning something 
with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius, heavy actually. <laughs> and Libra, yeah, for sure. You're gonna actually see um, the King of Swords. You're gonna see things, uh, progress. Uh, this could be same sex with that many king of swords coming out plus i saw the two the two 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 you're gonna see things progress um you need more stability and this king of swords is coming in to help you get that stability in finance especially so anyway guys i love you very much if you'd like a personal um all the information's in the description go check out the extended to this reading for three bucks down below i'm gonna get more information um where are we gonna find out this who this is what you need to do how you can run with the big dogs because this person is a big dog okay is what i'm hearing in the king of pentacles why there are two kings here what you need to look out for also um what gifts are coming in for you the intuition and the owl what gift is coming in and also for those of you who are trying to get famous or you think that that is on the verge i want to know a little bit more about that like what spirit needs you to know about that okay so go check out the extended for three bucks down below guys i love you very much i will talk to you soon Bye bye Hi guys, pile three, thanks for being here. Let's find out what big blessing and manifestation is coming in for you. We have this super cool washi tape here. Sarah, turn me into pile three, please. I'm hearing your protection game is working. So if you guys just did a spell, like a banishing spell, return to sender, something like that, it's working. It's working. Um, keep it up. I'm hearing keep it up. You might not have seen a lot of proof that that's working. Um, maybe lately you kind of feel like, like, yeah, like you're at war constantly with someone. But this, this, this time something changed. I don't know what you did, but you did something differently in your protection spell or ritual or something. Let's keep going. The miracles are endless. Cow spirit. Celebration. Ooh. Yeah, see, envy. Like, that's what I'm getting. You, um, you had somebody harassing you energetically it was really slow and stuck and oh my god what am i feeling oh my god with the root chakra and the also too you guys are if you dance if you want to start dancing again or like doing physical activity this is gonna this is gonna really change your energy and this will naturally go back to the sender is what i'm hearing it's like gonna stimulate your energy, like your energy field, your chakra system. Like there's something about root work here. This person, okay, okay. It, I feel like I just need to say this, okay. I just heard the word hex. <laughs> there is someone that put a hex on you. It had to do with your root chakra. Stability, money. I feel like that shit was sludging along. I do not feel at all like you had the, the like knowledge yet and how to protect yourself, but you just learned it. I feel like you're about to learn it or you just did. And that is how to protect yourself spiritually from this person. Two of Pentacles, like shit was boring for you. And I feel like it was even slow as molasses and nothing was breaking, nothing was happening. Wishing, yeah, wishing. You're like, I really want it to work. I really want it to work, but nothing was moving. Two of Wands as well, yeah. Indecision, look at this, it's like, Confusion, confusion, confusion. Okay, that's about to end. Let's see how that's gonna end. We have risk. You're taking a risk and you're gonna do something a little bit different. It might even be witchcraft. Like you might actually be dabbling now or something like that might be a new risk for you. Starfish. Temperance. Patience and planning. My God, you see how much red there is? I'm, I'm really getting, um, your root chakra was blocked. You were afraid to take risks. You were afraid to dare big, dream big. So nothing was happening. You were like overly patient, overly planning. But that's because of this level of like, um, I don't know, this, this, you stayed in your comfort zone because there was a level of like, uh, something going on here with this. This is like evil eye. Yeah. Yeah. You're about to learn something, how to deliver that shit back to the sender. So pile three is definitely spiritual. Um, this is the one that uh, yeah, this is the one that is for like witches, empaths. You guys are discovering how to protect yourself. And again, red flower. It's something about the root chakra. Council of light, divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms. So you're learning how to work with spirit to clear energy from you. The name could be Tara. I just got that. Teresa, Tara. I'm also seeing the letter F-R-A. Frank. The hermit, the sun, 
Oh my God, three majors. Guys, guys, listen. There's about to be some shady shit go down and you're about to return it to the sender. So it looks like you guys, um, you're about to get a breakthrough. It, it reminds me of when I used to be so afraid to do return to sender because I'm like, yeah, but I don't want them to get bad karma. I don't want anybody to have bad karma. You know, I was like, I'll just forgive. It's not a huge deal. Like, it's not a biggie. <laughs> I'll just, you know, forgive and love and light and like do Reiki for 75 hours a week, you know? But then I started to do return to sender again. Shit got good real fast. That's what's about to happen. You're about to see karmic justice happen. Maybe to a Libra, a Leo or a Virgo. You are about to find out that someone who has been blackmailing you or hurting you in some way, I don't know what they've been doing, gossiping maybe, judgment. Oh God, you guys. It's judgment day on your haters. Okay, that's what I see. It is judgment day, bae. This is over. Whatever they've been doing to you, honey, it's over. Their favorite color could be red. It's over. Eight, eight of Cups. It's over. Once you walk away, you fully, fully leave. This is over. This whole trap feeling, you're walking away from that. So your biggest blessing and gift coming in is you're, you're walking away from the whole like, I can't do that because they're going to be mad. I can't say that because they're going to feel, I don't know, they're going to feel like I'm judging them or something. It's like walking on eggshells. You're done with that. You're done with that. You're legit done with that. And I'm actually feeling it's in August. So next month, it'll be completely done. Yes, we have seven here. Seven, seven, eight, eight. Uh, Ace of Swords. Could be a Leo that you're doing this to. I don't know, but they're about to get karma. Okay. That's what I see. <laughs> I see karma. Sure do. And I actually see you moving away from someone too. So this could be a physical move. Guys, this is incredible. Like... This is incredible because you've got the temperance and all these majors. I just, I love it. I love seeing it. It means the collective is making some huge headway and in, in getting their life, taking their power back. Like I'm all the fucking about it, okay? Um, we have the three of pentacles here. Let's get more on that. Yeah, you're working with spirit. I'm hearing you're working with us now. You're working with your guides. You're like, okay, I think that you have realized that if you return to sender, what you're actually doing is giving them karma. The universe, how did you wake up? You woke up to divine love because you got karma and you hated it. You hated every minute of it, right? Right? Exactly. So these people are also going to be getting karma so that they can learn unconditional love. Why? Because they will have to surrender because karma sucks. So it's not yours to carry anymore. So I feel like Pile 3, you're understanding that protecting your vibe, protecting your boundaries does not mean that you are like a bad person. So it looks like you're about to send karma. Like you're about to send whatever they're sending you, just it's gonna bounce right off of you and go back to them. So this is what I say, just an example. I say, um, all evil eye, hexes, curses, spells, black magic, witchcraft, anything sent to me to harm me is not welcome and will be sent back to the sender in equal measure right now across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. And it can never be sent back to me again. Boom, done. I feel like that's something that you have never experienced before. It's like this power to do that. You don't need to be afraid of it. In fact, the way I see it, and this is my opinion, is it's a very divine choice. It's a very divine thing to do. It's not mine. These projections aren't mine. You know, this hate, this, this evil eye, this isn't yours. That shit ain't yours. Why should you have to deal with it? It's not yours. So I feel like you guys are over the whole... I'm indecisive. I don't know what to do. I'm walking on eggshells. I don't know if I should go after this job or if I should try that, if I should move here or I should call this person. I feel like this whole indecisive energy that you've had is about over. It's about over. This stuck, stagnant energy is about done. You're just, you're so effing over it. Like the queen of swords has come out and I'm like, she's a mega bitch, but you know what? I love the girl. I love her so much because she handles it like a boss. Your enemies are about to get karma. Okay. Queen of Wands, I actually do feel. Um, some of you are like dabbling. I think you're getting a little bit more witchy with it, which I really love. You know I do. Um, she's the witch though. You're discovering something about your true talent as a witch. Oof, I love it. If you've ever been scared of it, you're not gonna be anymore. You're really not gonna be scared of this 
this power that you have. Like, you've got to protect yourself. Oh my God, you've got to protect yourself. Five of Wands. Like, you can't consistently be in molasses for the rest of your life. Like, these people are sending you something and it's keeping you stuck. And, like, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Exactly. You're going to know what to do because you're going to really reclaim your power. I love it. Power three. This is really good news. This is like you're about to have some badass boss moves and nobody's going to even recognize you. Nobody's going to even understand what just happened. Um, and it looks like it's going to lead you back to your power. Wow. Incredible. Incredible, guys. Um, we're going to do an extended. And in the extended, I will find out more about... I don't know. I think I kind of mainly got everything. We'll just see if spirit has any other messages for you. Cause I feel like this is mainly black magic, but I, I kind of want to focus more on like how you could talk to your guides better. Maybe give you some affirmations or some tips about how to return this to sender. So it's easier for you. Also, I'll give you a couple examples of how I was afraid of my witchy power too. Like I was afraid, shit, I've been, I've been persecuted my whole life for being different. And in a past life I was killed for being a witch. So I'm telling you, honey, it is not just you that feels scared about doing this. Sometimes I do too, but, um, you, you can't, I don't think you can be afraid anymore. You can't live in fear for the rest of your life. Okay. You can't, it's just not going to happen. You are too powerful, too beautiful. You deserve to have a powerful life and a powerful energy with this indecisive energy, like it's not, it's not working out anymore. So that is your next blessing is getting out of this. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, those who chose file four, welcome. Welcome to your reading. Hello. Love the vibes. Really do. Really about it. Okay, pile four. Let's see what is coming in for you. What are you manifesting right now? What amazing news are you about to receive? A big blessing. Lamb. Okay, somebody is really into your innocence. I'm hearing that right off the gate. Um, somebody is noticing how you've kind of changed. Your energy is so sweet and subtle. Like, it's, it's um, very feminine. Oh, Self-worth, exactly. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, um, somebody here is in love with you. Pile four. The power of three. You might even have three people. Wow, super into you. Uh, let's get some more here. I'm hearing, I wish I could give you more. I wish I could give you something. This, whoever this is, I just saw a man working on a power uh, plant. A pow um, what the hell? What did I just see? You know, those, uh, those electric cords, you know, shit, what are they called? Power lines. I just saw a man working on power lines. Could be somebody that works on power lines, or maybe you had a dream with power lines, a power grid, something like that. Shit, I don't know. Anyway, this person wants to give you something. They see that you're burdened with money. Okay, somebody wants to give you money, honey. Pile four. Somebody is watching you experience hardships when it comes to money and they're like, this isn't fair. This is not fair that pile four is going through this when you have so much self-worth, so much value in yourself and they're, gonna, they're about to give you something. This could be a potential suitor. Ooh, the devil with the seven of swords. Let's keep going. Yep, yep, yep. Somebody wants to come in and defend you because your energy is coming through like a lamb. And over here, you have the seven of swords and the devil. So this is you, all sweet and subtle, like 444 four, four could be a number you see repeatedly. This is you, all adorable, like, right? And then here's the fucking devil. Somebody wants to offer you something because they see you battling the devil. And it's like, it's not fair. It's not fair that you're doing this alone. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Somebody wants to talk to you, honey. We got obedience here. A win-win outcome is forecast. If you guys are wondering, like, if you're worrying about money, don't. Because there's somebody who wants to come in and give you money. Surrender now. Surrender the fear. Because I think a lot of you are freaked about money right now. Because I keep hearing, it's not fair. It's not fair. And you're right. Your guides are telling me it's not right. Something is happening to you. Solitude. I feel like you're doing this all on your own. You're trying to make it work all on your own. You could be a single mom. Eight of wands. I, again, eight of wands. Somebody wants to communicate with you. I'm hearing they want to take you off the market. The color blue is important. You could have blue eyes or this person wears a lot of, excuse me, blue. I'm telling you, when I burp, it's a yes. So I'm getting like this person's favorite color is blue or your eyes are blue. They love your eyes, by the way. This person isn't it's like completely into you. Okay. Shadow. Girl, what the fuck is going on with pile four? Seven of swords, the devil and shadow. Uh, what? <laughs> like what? <gasps> okay. You know what it is? 
It's that you're coming across so innocent and so beautiful and so divine that somebody wants to protect you because it is not fair. Something's happening to you that's not fair. Um, with win-win, I just saw the lottery. So somebody here might, you might've just bought a scratch off or you're about to buy a scratch off. You might be really lucky with the lottery soon. Yeah, there is some weird, sinister energy following you around, but then there's also this really nice, caring, loving energy. Hmm, let's get some more. Let's get some tarot. They want to come in. I'm hearing rescue. Somebody is like wanting to rescue you. The high priestess. Yeah, because you're sensing some like serious warfare here. High priestess, five of swords. Like that's in, that's spiritual fucking warfare. I would not worry about money if I were you. I would not worry about money because somebody really wants to come in offering you something. Why? Why? Why, spirit? Why do they want to offer? Crickets. I'm hearing nothing. I'm not hearing a damn thing. You don't even know this person likes you or something. Queen of Swords. They want to talk to you, though. They want to talk to you. This person also is spying on you. Guys, this person is watching you, but you don't even know they're watching you. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or Capricorn. Or Cancer or Virgo. I feel like you don't know this yet, though. You don't know that they're watching you. With the Queen of Swords, they really want to defend you. Something isn't fair. I'm hearing something isn't fair. Give me more on that. Something isn't fair. Dude, it's not. We have the moon. Like, there are secrets here. Ace of Swords, but you're about to discover it, though. We have the Justice and the Ace of Swords. So basically, everything I just said is right. Six of Cups. Somebody wants to come in and offer you something. Could be somebody from your soul family. Six of Cups is a soulmate. It doesn't have to be romantic. I don't see a ton of romance cards, so I don't think it's romantic. I mean, it could be. It could be. Oh, there's the Ace of Cups. I don't know. It's kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really bank on that. But I, I would bank on getting money, though. Somebody wants to give you something. There is a secret that is about to come to light be about a Libra, but I'm getting a lot of air here. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody's sending you some negative something or other, okay? The hermit, the lovers. While you have another person wanting to offer you stability, you have another that's sending you bad juju. What blessing is coming in? Pile four. What blessing is coming in? How is this going to be remedied? Three of cups. Didn't I say three? I think you have three people interested in you. Yes, it's you, this person that's hating on you, and then a person who's like secretly in love with you. Wow, okay, let's keep going. Three again, three of swords. Listen, three of motherfucking pentacles. Three, 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 three. You can't make this shit up, you cannot. I mean, you could, but why would you want to? It's stupid. Let's not make things up. There are four threes in a row. I'm telling you, this person, a three's a crowd. You have a, a, somebody from the past who's haunting your ass, and then you've got a new person wanting to come in and defend you and shine a light on shit because you're being tormented. You're being harassed energetically. And your blessing is that you're going to find someone who can, like, I don't know, defend you or some shit. Ten of Wands. I'm hearing you'll want to put this to rest finally, once and for all. The burden, the hardship, this is gonna be put to rest. You're gonna fully tell this person goodbye. The one that's sending you bad, weird juju, like you're gonna send that shit like back into the ether, back into the fucking abyss where it belongs. I feel like you're about to tell somebody it's over for good, for good. Like that means forever. For a brand new start at life. Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords. What is it with you? We have four, four, four. Three, 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 three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Spirit's telling me that this is a breakup. The Four of Swords is my breakup card, and we have Four of Pentacles. Like, you're about to tell somebody goodbye. Um, they still might, they're trying to hold on to you, though. This person's trying to hold on to you, even though you're telling them goodbye, but somebody's coming in to assist you with doing this. The Page of Pentacles is a student of magic. So this is going to be a little bit witchy, I feel. <laughs> a little bit witchy. 
I just heard friendship. I saw friendship in my mind's eye. This is going to be a friend, a friend coming in. We have two nines, nine of swords, nine of wands, five of wands. They're a friend coming in. It could be a witchy friend. We have a witchy sister here. Somebody's coming in to help you because you're being tormented. Queen of Wands, the witch. I really feel there's somebody coming in because you can't get out of something. Any other blessing coming in for Pile 4? Oh, you know what? Hold on. Spirit just wanted me to pull. I just heard somebody's going to get a haircut soon. You'll look gorgeous. You'll look gorgeous. It'll really enhance your... Um, your um, beauty or something. I, it's going to like really help you a lot with confidence. It's mainly self-worth. You're knowing your self-worth. You know that you are so innocent like the lamb. You don't, you don't deserve to be around any energy like this. What other blessings are coming in? Telepathy. Party. You cannot make that shit up. The three of cups and we have party here. I, I, I just heard third party. So I think you're getting telepathy through a third party. You guys might find out soon. Look at that peace. You cannot make it up. You deserve peace. So you're going to get peace from this whatever circus thing is going on here. You know what this could be too? It could be your ex's partner sending you this too. Third party telepathy. There's one person causing you stress and there's another person about to cause you peace. What are they going to get clarity about? See, look, wealth, guys, do not stress at all about money. Stop. Success. Stop. Literally stop. Just literally stop right now. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> oh, you got to love it, man. You're making me laugh. Making amends. Okay, so you're, you're making amends with the past. You don't have to go back to this. It's like you can forgive this person and move on and not need them in your life anymore. And I don't think that maybe you've ever known that. That you're allowed to forgive and say thank you for the lessons. I love you. Thank you. But no, I don't want you back ever again. What else is coming in? Four, pile four. Another blessing. New optimism. What did I say? I said there's somebody coming in and it, you're going to be like, I'm squashing this shit forever. I'm squashing this shit. I'm done. I told you. It's because somebody's coming in. The name Tim. I just came through. I got the name Tim. Manifest. It's a man. There's a man coming in. Manifest what? <laughs> You're manifesting a rich, a rich man, I just heard. Uh, no, that's too many. That's too many. Can I know just one more? What are they manifesting? Oh, <gasps> shut up. Tips, donate. Beach, stop. Stop. This person's going to like tip you. They're going to give you, dude, they're giving you gifts. Okay. Okay. I like that. Support. I'm done. I'm literally done. I'm done, you guys. I'm, I'm done. Actually, I'm not. I'm doing an extended for three bucks down below. Like, totally help me out in that way, and I'll help you out. You know what I'm saying? We'll get some witchy stuff going here. We'll find out, like, what it is this person has been sending you, why they've been sending it. We'll also find out what is soon about to make you smile. I feel it's the support coming in. New optimism. Also, um, I want one more thing. Let's get more on this. A win-win outcome is forecast. So we'll get the win-win outcome and what will make you smile soon, okay? Okay, guys. And how you can manifest this really hunk, this, this hunky rich person, whoever they are, because they're loaded, okay? This person is like rich, freaking rich. Okay, okay. Guys, I love it. I love your energy. You're just so beautiful. Um, so thank you for being here. Let's get started uh, with your extended. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.